Thank you. And uh, we're here today to re rededicate this place from the Hugh Harrelson Reporting Lab to the Hugh and Jan Harrelson Reporting Lab. And um, I know this is special for a lot of you. Thank you. A lot of you came from Phoenix area, Prescott, Colorado, uh, to see us change a nameplate and a plaque. Uh, but it's more than just a piece of metal, isn't it? It's the name on the plaque. And that's what we're here to really celebrate. Uh, because as journalists, we know that words and names are important. You say a name, something comes to mind, a feeling, a thought. Um, you know, Woodward and Bernstein. Uh, uh, Don Bowles, uh, Kemper Marley. I mean, you, say, you hear a name and something comes to mind, particularly in Arizona. And for us, Harrelson means something. Harrelson means to, different things to a lot of people. To me, integrity, smarts, zest for life, and I'm sure it means different things for you. And, and so that's what we're celebrating today. It's not a piece of metal, it's a name, Harrelson, Harrelson. And so, um, and so we're really excited because we have so many Harrelsons here. I think most of the Harrelsons are, are here. We have uh, Matt and Julie, who uh, graciously have helped uh, fund fund the school along with the, uh, their uh, you and Jan, and even Sarah, who a month from now will be sitting at one of these terminals, <laughs> learning how to write, just as her grandfather sat in a classroom on this campus and learned how to write. Except I bet he didn't imagine that someday the room he was writing in might have his own name on it. You know, wow. Trip. And uh, and so Sarah, we, we hope you enjoy taking a class in this room named uh, in your name, in your, your family's name. Taken by Joe Sharkey, by the way, the professor who will teach it. Former uh, editor, reporter from New York Times, Wall Street Journal, all sorts of places. The best here at the School of Journalism. And so uh, we're going to have a few people talk. First, uh, we'll have Jacqueline Sharkey talk, Professor Emeritus, former director of the school. Who knew Jan for a long time, and and Hugh, yes, mm -hmm. right, knew Hugh as well. Uh, Matt and Julie, Scott, the talk, and anybody else who wants to say anything, and then we'll unveil the magical red tissue, and uh, and then let you go on your way because I'm sure you have things you want to do today. So thank you again for coming, and thank you, Jacqueline, for saying some words, giving us some perspective of how all this came about. about. Uh, and, um, and and how Jan really helped this school and journalism, as did you. Thanks, Jan. Well, it's wonderful to be here today. As we honor Jan's vision in creating this instructional laboratory in memory of her beloved spouse, Hugh. And as we recognize again, the far-reaching impact this laboratory has had on the School of Journalism, the students, and everybody who has worked here. And I think it's especially fitting that we're here on Mother's Day weekend because Jan truly was the mother of so many things that happened here. I'll talk today about the laboratory, but she also started a Teaching Excellence Award. There's an operation endowment in Jan and Hugh's name started by her sons and their spouses. And Jan was really the person who nurtured all of these efforts to expand the reach and the scope of the education and training that students receive in the school. When Jan's family held a memorial service last fall, there was an opportunity to describe Jan in four words. And the four I chose were thinker, builder, teacher, and all four of these qualities came into play during the time when she was developing this laboratory and during the years that she oversaw the role that it played in the evolution of the school and its educational mission. When Hugh passed away in 1999, Jan thought deeply about how to make the most meaningful contribution in his name. Hugh had asked her to do something for the school. At the time, it was a department. He was a devoted alumnus and one of the founders of the Journalism Advisory Council, the organization that assists the school with fundraising and other activities. 
He was especially concerned because the department, as a result of state and university budget cuts, had fallen far behind in terms of instructional technology. He was worried that the students' lack of preparation in the classroom might affect their performance in the newsroom and their ability to become leaders in an industry undergoing an enormous transition as a result of the revolution in communication technology. Jan discussed these issues with journalism faculty and university administrators, with professional journalists and news executives, and advisory council members. And she also brought into her deliberations her own long experience as a teacher. She wanted Hughes Memorial to be transformative, to reflect his thoughts about the ways in which journalism was being irrevocably altered by technology, as well as their shared concerns that these technological changes would extinguish rather than encourage the critical thinking that's so necessary to ensure the future of the profession and its role. Jan's solution? to build a new foundation for journalism education at the University of Arizona. She decided to construct a state-of-the-art laboratory in Hugh's name, a facility upon which a new journalism curriculum could be built. The laboratory would provide hardware and software that would enable the faculty to design cutting-edge classes, not only to give students hands-on experience using the latest technology to prepare news reports, but also to provide students with critical thinking experience about how this technology affects the ways in which journalists collect, evaluate, organize, and disseminate information, and how these practices affect the ways in which the public perceives this information and the profession that provides it. After Jan envisioned this laboratory, she then led the effort to build it. She spent many months raising the funds she thought necessary to create this facility. After the lab had been completed, Jan focused on setting up an endowment to ensure that the facility always would have the latest hardware and software and classes would continually evolve. On the 10th anniversary of Hughes passing, Jan embarked on a second fundraising drive so the endowment could become even more robust and keep pace with rising instructional technology costs. The Hugh Harrelson Reporting Laboratory did indeed transform the education and training that students receive in the School of Journalism. The lab became the incubator for innovation that Jan had envisioned. For more than 15 years, the lab has been on the leading edge of incorporating technology into the design of new journalism classes <coughs> and into the modifications of existing classes. During this time, thousands of students have learned to utilize this technology and to think about its impact on the public and the profession. These students include four alumni who work at the Los Angeles Times and have just shared in the 2016 Pulitzer Prize for Breaking News. This was awarded to the LA Times staff last month for its thoughtful and in-depth reporting. The Pulitzer Board called it exceptional about the shootings in San Bernardino. Through her leadership of this initiative to honor Hugh, Jan taught many of us not only how to build an instructional laboratory, but also how to, how to build a life based on combining analysis and action. During the process of creating this facility, as in many other aspects of her life, Jan thought extensively about what would be the right thing to do? And then she did it, regardless of any dissenters or any difficulties. This reporting laboratory is a testament to Jan's commitment to Hugh and to the values that they shared, including their ideas about the importance of journalism and education and of living a life based not only on talking about principles, but also on acting on those principles. So to those four words who describe who Jan was, thinker, builder, teacher, leader, a fifth word should be added, partner. 
Jan and Hugh were partners in the most profound sense of that word. They had a deep respect for one another and for one another's ideals and integrity. They collaborated closely on the most crucial things, raising their children, making professional decisions, engaging in public service and education. That's why today is so important. This instructional laboratory is a reflection of all those qualities. And this rededication of the laboratory in both their names is a recognition of the partnership that made it possible. A partnership based on shared values and commitments and on a deeply shared love. opportunity to recognize Hugh and Jim. Thanks in particular to Dave for your vision to rededicate the Hugh Harrelson Reporting Lab. Our family appreciates his desire to recognize not only my father's contributions to the school, but my mother's as well. Thanks to Nancy Sharkey, who's who and her and her and all of your staff for your continued work to produce outstanding outstanding young journalists. And to Jacqueline Sharkey and previous school leaders for their wisdom and the foundation that they've laid for the school. And thank you to the past and present members of the advisory council with whom my parents worked uh, for all the work that they have done as well. Thank you, Mike Chester, for your patience and working with Matt and I and, and organizing this event. We've we, we appreciate it. We deeply appreciate it. Thank you. And thanks, finally, to friends and family who not only contributed financially to the Hugh Harrelson Reporting Lab, but have taken time off for their Mother's Day weekend and traveled, some who have traveled very far, to, uh, to join us here and, and celebrate this, uh, this fantastic uh, opportunity. Well, Matt and I grew up in a home where the daily newspaper was the first order of the day. When we got home, oftentimes, the evening news was the last wrap. And there was also, years ago, an evening newspaper, believe it or not. And while times have certainly changed, there's uh, probably a few young, fresh faces back in the corner there who don't know what a junk is. <laughs> there still is a need for information, for good journalism. It's just as important today as it was back then, and perhaps even more so now. And that's why this school is so important, and why our family is so proud to, re to remain connected to this great institution, and to your good work. My parents were committed supporters and contributors to journalism, but more importantly, they were passionate about journalism here at the University of Arizona. They recognize the value of the profession being taught, but also the people, the people who were doing it. The talented leaders and instructors who continue to make the university, this school, one of the top destinations in the nation for aspiring young journalists and, and public relations professionals. This school has been on the cutting edge of the profession for decades, and my parents appreciated the vision to embrace change and offer innovation, innovative approaches in today's modern media. Matt and I are very proud to add our mother's name to the Harrelson Lab and look forward to many more years of young students and instructors taking advantage of the wonderful, wonderful resources that are here and will continue to be so. So thank you very much. I don't know why every time we have these kind of things to honor my mom, I gotta follow my brother. <laughs> he speaks so eloquently, and I know my mom and dad would have been so proud of 
his career and what he's accomplished in, in, in journalism. And uh, um, this day just brings it back um, a flood of emotions. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I did find at the larger celebration with this group of people that are so meaningful to our family. Um, my Aunt Jill, my mom's sister, here today. Uh, our cousins that have come from great distances. Uh, our families, our little family. Um, one of our close friends uh, from Tucson, you know, the Shelley's been our friends for forever. Don, a great journalist in his own right. Uh, it's just uh, a special, special day for us to be able to honor um, both of our parents and their contributions. And, uh, you know, we're missing a few people today. I know John Gilbert, unfortunately, is not feeling well. And he's not able to be here today, but, you know, he's he was, big supporter, has been a big supporter, and continues to be a big supporter of the program. Uh, also unable to be here, uh, my in-laws, Bernie and Judy Briskin, who have generously supported this program as well. And uh, uh, it's, it's this, it is such a great fitting weekend, Mother's Day weekend, that we're here. I don't want to, I'm going to try to be a dad, I'm just saying I really want to. Uh, it's just a testament to how much she meant to all of us. And so uh, to be able to honor both of our parents and their contributions and have all of our, her, their closest friends, like the Smiths, and our closest friends, um, such key people in the program, it's just, it's its really a special, special year. Um, again, thank you to my cousins, Judy and Steve and Janet for traveling on such a great distance. And um, the last thing I want to just mention before we unveil the, uh, take the tissue down. <laughs> uh, interesting story about this picture here on the program. Um, I wasn't even aware that this picture existed until recently. And my Aunt Jill brought it to our attention. And I thought, wow, that's just an amazing picture. Amazing picture. And it's like, they must have been working, this must have been when they first started working together. When my mom was a student and my aunt was interning for my dad, and he would, instead of asking her out on dates, he said, oh, we got, we got another assignment. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I thought, well, that's, that's just amazing. This is, a, this is so fitting. This is a great, you know, and, and thanks to Dave, of course, for his offer to even put this thing together. It was such a great idea. He said, you know, this picture would be great. And I said, oh, that's awesome. And then we kept, you know, as we've been going through, her things and the house, and she was the collector of all uh, memorabilia and things from both sides of the family. We were, st we're still continuing to sort through all the stuff, and so to make sure we don't miss anything, but I came across an article in the paper, and the article in the paper was announcing their engagement. And this is the, the <laughs> picture that was in the paper. It was not from when they were working on it. It was one of those set up photos uh, to, be, to announce their engagement. Looking at their, looking at, looking at their invitations and putting together their invitations. So I wanted to, just, I just wanted to share that with everybody. How uh, it's kind of inappropriate. Uh, it looks like they're working on uh, But for us insiders, we'll also know. That story stays here. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, um, thank you again so much for everybody being here. And thank you, Dave. And um, it's just a special day. And a special Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Does anyone else like to say anything? <coughs> Let's have one more. 
uh, my wife Nancy and I come out of a long culture in the New York Times, which is a newspaper that you probably know. It's family culture. It's a family culture. And we know that, I mean, the New York Times has been a family uh, operation since Adolf Box bought the New York Times in 1896. It still is. It's still a family. And I look around at you guys, and I, I, I see kind of a version of the Salzburgers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You all showed up. They do that. They yeah. show up. And I, I see, we're, I'm fairly new to the school of journalism, but I see a culture here and a DNA that I'm impressed by, and I, I, I just like being a part of it. So thank you very much for showing up. It's a, it's a <laughs> walk up here and try to figure out what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm a print journalist, Frank Sotomayor, journalism class of uh, 1966. At the time, the journalism class was very small. We had like a graduating class of six or seven. But we put out the, the Wildcat in those days. It was a very close mm -hmm. relationship between the journalism school, journalism department in those days, and the Wildcat. And I was lucky enough to be editor of the Wildcat and my professor, Sherman Miller, who had come from the New York Times, always used to say, you've got to be more like Hugh Harrelson. And he was one of the legends in, in kind of the Wildcat uh, history. So I knew that name from, a, from an early age. And then later on, when the School of Journalism was under, kind of under the gun, under the ax where the university president and provost wanted to eliminate the journalism department, Hugh Harrelson was one of those people, along with Jan, who stood up and said, no, this is too important. And the school was saved, and later Jackie became um, head of the department, and of course, the, the department has thrived since then, and uh, became a school, and now, under Dave, is doing very, very well. But of course, then Hugh had quite a professional reputation at the Republic and at the uh, Arizona highways and here working at the university. So I got to see Hugh also under those circumstances. And then later on, as part of the, the advisory council, I got to know and respect and admire Jan and the amazing leader that she was uh, for journalism and for journalism school on the advisory council. So. Uh, in the last week or so, I was elected uh, the new chair of the Journalism Council, so mm -hmm. I'm humbled that I'll be following someone as uh, outstanding uh, as, as Jan in that position. And um, as Joe said, there's kind of like a family environment here, which I've always thought was one of the strengths of this program. And I think the Harrelsons are kind of one of the pillars of the foundation that hold up the school and, and help it to advance. So um, I'm honored to be here with the Harrelson family uh, to share in this wonderful day. Uh, we were all sad, of course, to lose Jan and Hugh before them, but their legacy lives on and we're very proud uh, of them. And we will continue on the Journalism Council and of course the Journalism Faculty to honor them as we work with the students to produce great journalists and wonderful citizens of this country. Thank you. Anyone else like to say anything? Well, thank you. Thank you. And thanks, um, thanks, Matt and Julie, for your generous contributions. And all of you, I think most of you in this room contributed to our school. Um, this year, and we really, really appreciate that. I mean, believe me, we couldn't do it without the support of, of you all. Um, it's it's not easy in higher education nowadays, especially in Arizona, and so it takes kind of a, a big community to make this work, and, it, and it's worked. Like like you all said, Frank, um, that this school might not be around today. This room wouldn't be here if it weren't for people like Hugh and Jan. Got their hands dirty and they, they saved, they helped save this program. And the results, as we saw, Pulitzer Prizes, journalists doing great work around the world. We really, really appreciate that. I mean, it's, it's 
it makes this all worthwhile. And we'll probably have another rededication here, I'm guessing, after Sarah wants to do it. And we'll just change it to the Harrelson lab. <laughs> because that's, I, I anticipate that a little bit. So, with that, let's uh, go ahead and unleash the, the, the tissue. Uh, Matt and Scott and, and Julie, can you come up? I'm going to let the boys. You want to let the